I'm going to be focused on holding the vendors accountable that get significant chunks of our Medicaid budget through the Department of Human Services. These services are critical to the people that need them, whether they be people with uh, mental disabilities, physical disabilities, or our seniors. This is our joint effort at making sure that any vendor that is getting Medicaid dollars should be on notice that we will continue to monitor all aspects of the Medicaid budget to see what other vendors may need to be added down the line if necessary. We're putting this list out there because I think this is a learning experience for many of our colleagues, whether they be on the executive or the legislative side, that sometimes people think, oh, the human services budget, as if it's all being spent by DHS, Department of Human Services, which is technically true. I don't think most people realize that a lot of this money then goes out to other private or nonprofit agencies that then do the service. We're going to get a wealth of information from these audits that I think can be used not only for the appropriations process, but also for uh, this governor, whoever succeeds this governor, on how to make sure that services that are critical. I don't think, I've yet to find any Pennsylvanian that doesn't think that people with physical disabilities shouldn't get some, some assistance, but to make sure that's done in the most effective, effective and efficient way possible. We obviously have worked together and collectively through um, a very different financial picture than when I first started here in the late 90s. And, the expectations are high that with limited dollars, we're going to be making sure that it's spent in the most productive, effective way possible. And the Auditor General's work here will, I provide, I believe, will provide a lot more confidence there. Because of the numbers involved here, as the Auditor General said, the thousands involved, using a random approach is the best way. Um, because it not only will uh, provide some direct review of those who have chosen, but give others an understanding that they could be part of the process too. You can. Good morning, everybody. Everybody all set and in their places? Thank you, everyone, for being here. Uh, my name is Eugene D. Pasquale, Auditor General, for those that don't know, and I'm joined by Senator Pat Brown, who is chair of the Appropriations Committee, and, and I think, and I know Senator Brown's going to have a few comments as well, that this is our joint effort at making sure that any vendor that it is getting Medicaid dollars should be on notice that we will continue to monitor all aspects of the Medicaid budget to see what other vendors may need to be added down the line if necessary. Now I know Senator Brown wants to say a few words, then, I, then we'll be both happy to take any uh, of your questions. Senator Brown? <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Good morning. I uh, first wanted to uh, thank the uh, uh, the Auditor General for his leadership uh, in what um, I believe. That, 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 that's correct, yes. Um, statewide, how many of these vendors are you talking, hundreds or thousands of them across the state? Oh, oh. As far as this audit, again, we're talking at six. There are thousands of vendors across the state. And I mean, I, I, I don't want to get my team too excited, too nervous <laughs> over here. I mean, I think it, it, it's just not realistic to look at all of them, but. I mean, if I had my druthers, all of them would have this type of microscope every year. I'm sure the senator feels the same way. We just know that's not realistic. And that, that's where my team starts to get the little heart palpitation of, like, what's he up to next? And, it's an, and next. It's important to understand that the, the process of random auditing is, is a very common process. And the value of that is that because it's random, anyone can be selected at any time. So just because you're choosing a sample, uh, a smaller right. sample of 1,000, um, it naturally uh, puts everyone on notice that they could be part of that sample. So it has, even if you're not selected, I think the understanding about using the money more effectively will be accomplished that way too. Is there, was there another question over here? <laughs> 